everybody, it is your girl Ni, if you don't know me. And today I got another video for you guys. I'm gonna be testing out some fruit hacks. And I've always seen these videos, these hacks. So I'm gonna put those hacks to the test today. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. So how this video is gonna work is I'm gonna start off on the usual way on how I cut the fruit in comparison to what I find on YouTube, maybe Google, on what they say is the easiest way to cut pineapple, orange, apple, mango. Okay, I'm gonna be starting off with the apple here. I am also gonna time it to see like which way is faster. Let's face it this way to you guys. So, I'm gonna start. What I do is cut the apple in half and then I cut it into slices just like that. Take off the core. This took me about a minute and 22 seconds to do. I'm now going to search up the easiest way to cut an apple without skinning it because I didn't do it for this one. So I found a hack on YouTube by the King of Random and it's another way of cutting the apple. Watch the video and I'm going to see if it is quicker than the way I usually do it. Now we'll see if it beats mine. You basically cut it into a hashtag and then the core should be a separate piece while the other pieces should easily pop off without the core. Looking at the video, I see some benefits in it and it looks quicker than my methods. King of random, I am gonna be testing out your fruit hack with apples. Are going in three, two, one. There's still some core pieces in it. Ta-da! Okay, that took a minute so that these slices are not equally like how I slice them. But you know what? An apple is an apple. It's still gonna go in your stomach. A minute, and compared to my a minute and 22 seconds, saves me 22 seconds. I think this hack is pretty beneficial. I'm gonna start doing this. Thank you, King of Random, for this food hack. Two thumbs up. If you haven't been doing this way, try it out yourself. Or if you got an easier method for me, please write it down in the comments below. And now we're gonna move on to the next fruit, which is going to be an orange, orange. I'm gonna show you guys how I peel my orange and start. I chop off the top part and also part of the bottom. And then I cut through the skin only. I don't cut all the way through because I'm not cutting it into slices like the apple. Make it easier to peel off I'm gonna do wedge by wedge like this. It took me a minute and 27 seconds to peel my orange the way I do it. I'm gonna look for another method, an easier method hopefully, and see if mine or theirs is better. Let's search it up on YouTube. I saw my method on there. But then there's another cooler method. It requires you to use the, the ending of the spoon, cut around the middle of the orange and just into the skin. And then you take the edge of the spoon and then you kind of manure around it like that and it should pop off. Do it to the other side as well. Pop it off and then you should get the flesh of the orange. Yeah, let's hope this works. So I don't know if I explained that properly, but you guys are gonna see me do this right now. into fours and then I'm gonna stop it like that. Okay, that was done in one minute and 41 seconds. Easily say that orange pieces are still intact like the bottoms of it and the tops of it aren't cut out like my pieces here. This requires you 
to use the extra spoon. I mean, it does look prettier than mine. My method was quicker, but these pieces do look prettier. I think on the go, it would get a little messy, but this is definitely a cute way to make like fruit bowls. You put it in here, but then you gotta wash the spoon after. I also use this method depending on how I feel. If I got extra more time, I would do this method to save the extra flesh, but then like if I'm lazy and on the go, I would still use my method because it's quicker. So we got the oranges and apple done. Now we are moving into the exotic fruits that I got. I've got the mangoes. I love mangoes. These are one of my favorite fruits. Mmm, this smells so good. How I usually do this is peel off the skin. It actually depends on the mango here. The The seed, we usually gnaw on it, so it's pretty much done. That took me 2 minutes and 43 seconds. What I did in the beginning was try to make a mango flower here. It didn't work out because these are the firm type of mangoes, but the, but the really golden and full out yellow mangoes, the softer kind, you could do this method on it's easier to eat so i found this hack by crazy russian hacker on youtube i love his videos and i've seen a lot of his hacks saw this mango hack that i want to try you need a cup and hopefully this mango is soft enough to do this cut through the mango just close enough to its pit and then you use the edge of the cup to get it off separating the skin i will show you guys when I turn on my timer here. Go! So you can clearly see that my method was a little quicker. Still some flesh left on here. Trying to come back with another video with the right mangoes. These mangoes didn't work with it. Even in my method, I was too eager to do it. But this type of mango, the firm ones, it will make a good mango salad. Mm. The next fruit I got here is the pineapple at the time. I start off by cutting the top and bottom. I'm laying it on top of the cutting board flat like this. Cut off the pineapple skin like that. Now we cut out holes called the brown eyes here. So you can see this is how I do it. battery died there while I was chopping up these pineapples. I chopped them up into pieces like this and it took me 5 minutes and 14 seconds. So, found a way of pulling apart a pineapple from Emmy Made in Japan. I saw this method like well, maybe last year that you don't even need to slice the skin off or even like cut off the eyes. The way she showed me was kind of like following these fruits. Pulling it apart one by one. Start. I saw a hack online years ago and I continue to do this. So to know when your pineapple is ripened is you pick off the top and if it easily comes off, you know that it's right. I guess the only thing you really need to do here is cut off the top. It only took me a minute and 35 seconds. Push in. Just like that, you're supposed to pull out one by one. This is how you're supposed to eat it. I'm so mind blown because it's 
actually working bite into it not all the way to the spoon it's cool it works there's so much juice in here i don't know what to do you're not getting the core part of it in the middle too you're getting the flesh this is an interesting way of eating your pineapple and it does follow up to how you're supposed to eat it following the fruit piece by piece give this experiment a try it's a cool hack you know this was a little quicker easy access to eating the fruit but honestly i see why i do this easier way to share with people i mean pass this around to people to eat are you gonna actually pass a pineapple around you could eat this alone but a little too messy for me so gonna stick with my method i'd rather go in with the hard work and enjoy my pineapple in pieces without the skin like this yay, yay, yay. holy crap i got a whole mess to clean up here subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and turn on that notification bell so you won't be missing out on my videos i love you guys so much i hope you guys have a wonderful day and enjoy this video i will see you in the next one bye guys